Hello everyone and welcome to my channel for another Wig Wednesday. If you are new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you are returning, welcome back. You guys, this is going to be a special week for you. You are about to get like a three in one. First of all, you're probably wondering, Tiff, what wig are you wearing? Is that the wig you're gonna be talking about today? Um, no, I need to tell you guys what happened. Over the weekend, I had a hair emergency. If you guys remember last week's Wig Wednesday video, I talked about the Outre Quick Weave Dominican Curly Wig, and I was like, oh my God, I love it so much. Y'all, that wig went from this to this to this real quick. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was me. I tried to like, you know, fluff it out and make it big like the other YouTubers did. And y'all, it just, it, it wasn't even a wig anymore. I don't know what happened. So, me being the <laughs> up and coming wig guru that I am, I decided to cut the wig. I was terrified. I even wrote to y'all, I was like, should I cut this wig? But I just went for it, y'all, because I could not handle what happened. So I cut the wig, and I absolutely love it. I think it's super cute. I decided to make it into a cute little fro. Um, as you guys can see, you'll have to leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. I'm gonna tell you guys, I'll be honest, like, you know me. I have to give you guys honest reviews because there's a lot of influencers that get paid and they're sponsored by these companies. This is not one of my favorite wigs at all. It's very, very hard to keep up. This hair gets bigger and bigger. And I'm not talking like um, beautiful, like, oh, it's so big and pretty. This hair gets really, really big and really, really tough to like manage. So um, like I said, I cut it, I thinned it out, um, and I made it into this cute fro. And then there's also cute little bangs that I cut into it as well that I could wear. So it's very versatile now, but honestly, this is not one of my favorite wigs at all. I could not believe how that wig went from, <laughs> how that wig literally went from zero to 100, like literally. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys because I really like it now, it's super cute. Um, I know I'm being redundant, but it's cute now, right? <laughs> this week, it's lace fronts versus half wigs. Which one is your favorite? Ooh, better yet, which one is my favorite? Mmm. So this week I'll be doing a little battle. It's going to be lace fronts versus half wigs. Which one is better? Pros, cons, etc. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna first talk about this wig. This is a lace front wig. Um, this is actually one of my favorite wigs when I don't wear half wigs. This is the Free Tress Equal Invisible L Part Wig. This is the style Chasty. I wanna say it's Chasty. Um, in the color number two, I love this wig. Um, I actually had put it away for a while. I was gonna sell it and get rid of it um, because I've been wearing so many half wigs now. But I wore it again for a shoot not too long ago and I was like, wow, I really missed wearing this wig. This one came with a hard lace I think, it's been a while, but I'm pretty sure this one was a hard lace. I love the part, I didn't have to tweeze anything. Um, comes with two little combs in the front, a little comb in the back, and the adjustable straps. It's a really cute bob, you'll see it in the versatility showcase. Um, this wig makes me happy to wear a full wig. Um, it doesn't feel heavy on my head, it doesn't feel like super hot. Um, this wig does not shed, does not tangle. This is literally the perfect wig for all seasons. Um, I just really, really like this wig if I'm going to go the full route. This is actually the Outre Brazilian wig. Um, this is a batik bundle. This is a half wig. Comes with one long comb in the front, one comb in the back, and then, of course, the adjustable strap. This is how this wig originally came which was cute, it was just a little too, I don't know, too wiggy for me. So I flat ironed it and it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, it's just a really great wig. And honestly, this wig smells really good and I haven't put anything in it, so I don't know why, but it smells really good. Full wigs for me, 
can tend to be way too big for my head for one thing um, I have a very small head so it's very hard to find a full wig lace wig or whatever that is going to fit my head comfortably and make me feel like okay I'm just walking around with a weave um, they tend to feel like a big hat or helmet on me um, so that's one thing that I don't like about wearing full wigs another thing is dealing with parts oh my goodness like when I was first learning how to like tweeze parts and put the makeup in the part and all of that it was just a struggle and then sometimes like the the netting I would tweeze too much and it, it was just a mess and so that's literally honestly one of the reasons why I started going towards half wigs I was like there's got to be a way there has to be a better way um and then sometimes I mean I didn't really have a huge problem with it but sometimes these full wigs for me was like starting to damage my edges and it, it just seemed like a lot of a lot of like work and pain just to be able to plop something on and be able to get out the door half wigs to me are amazing because they feel lighter on my head i can wear my leave out and feel comfortable the top of the wig is very easy to cover with my leave out um i am relaxed so it does work for most wigs that i have even the curly wigs my hair takes really well too as far as blending goes even though i'm using my hair it still feels like it's a quicker process than wearing a full wig which is weird to me because you would think that a full wig you would be able to just pop it on do edges if you want and go but then with a full wig you got to remember you got to make sure the line isn't showing you got to make sure your lace is cut properly you got to make sure the part is gonna match it's just so much having a half wig I can literally just I can even just pop this wig on and throw a hat on and call it a day same with the full wig yes you can do that but then it's gonna feel like I'm wearing two hats on my head versus one hat I don't have any cons as far as like wearing a half wig so for me it's team half wig all the way if you wear protective styles or wigs make sure you leave me a comment below let me know what you think so if you guys want to see how I rock my full wigs and my half wigs keep on watching